this city is famous for a lot of things but I think the highlights of the city for me would be the waterfalls and I'm on my way to discover them today. If you look closely, there is this rainbow kind of effect where there are a few colors reflecting on the water as it's falling. So I tried to capture it, I hope it will be possible to see, but it's just the first time I see this kind of effect and I think it's beautiful. I managed to take a few pictures and videos right before a huge group of I don't know, tourists came, which is a beautiful ending of <laughs> the first waterfall for today, but now on the way to the second one. The whole experience there took me about 15 minutes and the second waterfall we are going to is about half an hour by walk, so I might get myself a nice coffee and head by walk, just because the weather is perfect and, you know, I'm not in a rush, so let's make it happen. And just like the previous waterfalls, here you get to buy a ticket and enter. It's basically a lot of stairs on the way down, but while we do that, I'll just tell you real quick that the waterfall is about 23 meters, and this is the tallest waterfall I've ever seen. And it does bring a lot of memories from the waterfall I visited in winter, which was very, very tiny compared to this one, but I don't get to see waterfalls often and this is my second time seeing waterfalls at all I think the big ones so I'm happy to see any of them and it just makes me think about how many more there is to explore and I can't wait to do that Absolute happiness in moments like this, to be around nature, to be around things that feel powerful, things that feel great. The emotions that travel brings me is what I'm after. This is probably the reason why I would like to explore in more places and share my experiences here on YouTube. What I do a lot is I spend time walking around from one destination to another as much as possible just to figure out my way and get to see as much as possible. You know, it would be much easier, of course, to take a taxi or rent a car or bus sometimes. But since I've got quite a few days to spend here, I would like to see as much as possible and share it with you. And this, of course, includes a lot of things that don't make it to any travel guides, but I think would be a great representation of what life is like here in Jeju Island. Basically something happened last time I was swimming with GoPro, last two files are damaged and I cannot view the files that I already saved because it says the SD card is broken so I was just on my way to a local tech store, electronic store and I've happened to come across one of the most beautiful things in my life and from very far I saw Hala Sun and Hala Mountain is on my list of going during this trip but the way I felt when I saw it for the first time is something that no other mountain made me feel I know it's kind of like feels a little bit romantic but things like this make me excited things like this make me feel stuff and I can't wait to go there and experience the mountain 
to the fullest. I am on a mission to do something I've never done before, which is scuba diving. There are quite a few things that have always drawn my attention. And the first things that come to mind are water, mountains and speed. So today we are going to do the water thing. So in order for the glass not to get foggy, you gotta spit on it first, spread the saliva, then put it in the water, and then it's gonna be like this. But I mean, without a doubt, was one of the best experiences I've ever had. I'm so glad I did it. Big recommendation. Yes, the bottom of the sea wasn't as pretty as you probably would get in other places, other countries, but it's the experience that matters and hopefully next time I will do it. I'll be more confident, I'll be more used to it because it took me some time to get used to being underwater, but I loved every second of it. I love sunsets and I'm chasing them as much as possible and this is definitely very very beautiful. I was actually supposed to be surfing tomorrow but the weather forecast says that the wind is not going to change direction and it's pretty flat water here on the south coast which is the coast where usually people surf here so I might have to change a plan and find something else to do. So we'll see how things go. The whole trip I'm just planning on the way. I still don't have a hotel for today. I still don't know what the plan is for tomorrow. But I'll be bringing you along with me to figure these things out together here in the beautiful island. I'm just standing here for the past, I don't know, 10 minutes mesmerizing the sky, taking so many pictures and videos because there is barely anything I have to do for editing to make this look as good as it is. I don't have to do anything, to be very honest. Even the face skin tones look much better if there is like a golden light or in this way very pink light coming in here. I love this. I love what nature can do and I love being here and capturing this. Oh. I just arrived to one of the places I didn't know about before and it's Hyopje beach. It's this beautiful white sanded beach with 
like kind of a small bay and then there are actually people surfing a little bit the waves are not exactly what I want but I think it's possible to do a little bit of surfing today I'm actually hanging out with people for the first time I would be very happy to talk with somebody it's been a very long while so yeah I'm meeting people and I'm gonna try to capture the experience and explore the place a little bit after I'm so proud of myself for going out of my comfort zone, going to a party where I didn't know anybody. And basically right now I'm having the time of my life and I got to know people or I get to socialize. It's nice for a person like me who doesn't like to hang out with people that I don't know much. I like that I put myself out of my comfort zone and it's just a really, really beautiful experience. I met friends, I met good people and yeah, I'm having fun listening to music, having some beers and muggly in Jeju by myself with the people I just met and I'm having a great time. Such a nice, not wrap up, but such a beautiful way to spend Saturday evening here on Jeju Island. And also I forgot to mention, I've got to know so many dogs, oh my God.